Hi everyone, uh, it's me Pauline. I'm about to sublimate um, a design that I just made in Silhouette Studio. Now, this is the design and it looks pretty light so I don't know how it's going to turn out but let's go ahead and give it a try because I'm interested in seeing this myself so so yeah so I have me my 100% polyester shirt and I have my heat press at 200 uh, for 60 seconds and I have here a piece of parchment paper which I'm going to put in between my shirt. This will uh, stop the ink from going through to the other side of the shirt. So since sublimation ink is more like a film and um, it can easily go through to the other side of your material or your garment. So just put a um, piece of parchment paper down in between my shirt here. Okay, that should cover the design that I'm going to put on the shirt. Okay, so now I'm going to roll the, the length of my shirt. So give it a good, nice roll. Go. Okay. And I'm going to pre-press my shirt for about five seconds, five, ten seconds, maybe. Yeah, five, ten seconds. So here goes, pre-press. On heavy heat, heavy pressure. Okay, there. All right. So now let's line this um, design up. And I have here my t shirt measurement for the center to determine where my design should go. And I'm not sure. That looks just about good. Okay. And I have here my design, which I'm going to put on my shirt. They say about at least three fingers down from the neckline. And according to my ruler, it looks like this is pretty centered. So, there. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to put a piece of tape on the design so that it doesn't shift. So here it goes. Okay. And now to protect the top of my um, heat press, I'm going to put another piece of parchment paper on top of the design, and that will um, help eliminate the uh, ink from getting on my the top of my heat press and ruining the heat press. So now I'm going to bring this down on heavy pressure. 200 degrees for 60 seconds and let's see how this design uh, turns out like I said I just made this um, in silhouette studio uh, so I don't know what it's going to look like but this is the method this is the steps for sublimation you make your um, your design you print your design um, you have your heat pressed at 200 degrees for 60 seconds. That's 200 degrees centigrade. 
uh, is 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and 200 degrees center, uh, Celsius. Um, and then you protect your shirt by putting a piece of paper inside the shirt. You roll up the lint and then you heat your shirt, warm your shirt up for five to 10 seconds or vice versa. You can warm your shirt first and then roll the lint. And then um, you apply your design and go ahead and um, make, your uh, make your shirt. So now, like I said, I just made this. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but oh my gosh, that looks pretty good. I love it. Look at that. Just about all of the ink came off. Just about all of it. And let's show this design. Let me see. Uh, little ink went through to the paper that I put inside the shirt, but not much. Hey, y'all, look at this. So this is the design that I just made in Silhouette Studio. And um, I like it. It looks pretty good. I think it turned out pretty well. So, yeah. And as you see, nothing went to the back of the shirt. The shirt, the shirt was well protected, so there's nothing back there. Everything looks good back there. Turn it back around, and this is the shirt. So, that's it. I like the way the shirt turned out, and thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please um, hit like and subscribe. And you can also share the video. There should be an option to share the video. I'm still new to YouTube, so I'm figuring out the different um, steps on sharing and subscribing, having people subscribe, etc. But um, you stay with me, and I'll go ahead and make these moves and try and bring something uh, educational to new beginners like myself and even those who are OGs to the game, please uh, join me. And I welcome constructive criticism, and I also welcome congratulations. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.